Hi everyone! In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at an effect we recently featured on the Pro Show blog. Now, as you can see here, the goal in this lesson is to give the appearance of light reflecting against an image as it tilts. Similar to what you might see when holding a glossy photo and moving it in different directions. To create this effect, we'll be combining the tilt and adjustment layer options found in Pro Show Producer. Darker images tend to look better with this effect, so I'll start off by selecting an image that should do well and drag and drop it into the slide list. Then I'll add some more time to my slide and make this about 5 seconds. This effect also works better with short transition times. If you create this effect on the last slide in a show, I recommend setting the transition time to 0 seconds. If you have another slide following this one, I recommend a transition time under 1 second. Now let's double click on the slide to open the slide options window. The first thing I need to do is make sure I have enough room around my image so that I can see the whole thing as it tilts. So, under the layer settings tab, I'll set the scaling to fit to frame. Then I'll adjust the zoom to about 75%. For this effect, to give us the appearance of a light source creating glare on an image, we're going to use an adjustment layer. To add an adjustment layer, in the layers list, click the plus icon and select add adjustment layer. Now as you can see, there are a few different options to choose from. For this effect, we don't want to adjust everything about the image, just part of it. So, let's choose Add Gradient. By using a gradient as an adjustment layer, we can apply a change to the underlying layer that will be more clearly visible where the gradient is lighter and less noticeable where the gradient is darker. Now let's customize this gradient. First, make sure your preset is set to Masks and choose this first option right here. Then set your gradient type to linear, and in the gradient settings area, set the angle to zero. Down here in the color bar, grab this white color stay on the left and drag it to the middle of the bar. To get it exactly in the middle, type 50 in the position box. You'll see we still have a white color stay over here on the left, so let's select that and change the color to black. Your gradient should look like this, a straight line of white right in the middle that gradually fades to black on both sides. Now click OK to add the new layer to the slide. Back in the slide options window, this is what you'll see. If your preview doesn't look similar, in the layer type area, make sure you have the adjustment option checked and that it's set to grayscale. Now in the preview, we can see the gradient layer is on top, and we can mostly see through it and make out the image underneath. However, if you preview the slide, you won't see anything different about your image, which is completely normal. That's because an adjustment layer is invisible until you apply some adjustments to it. So with layer 1 selected, click on the Adjustments tab. Now down here in the Adjustments pane, I'm going to increase the brightness to around 75% and set the contrast to 25%. Together, these changes will create an adjustment that makes the image appear a little overexposed. Now, to see a before and after comparison, click on layer 2, then toggle the adjustment layer off and on to see the difference. You can see that this isn't a huge change all by itself. The real secret to this effect comes from adding motion to both of these layers. So let's click on the Effects tab above the preview. For now, just to make things a little easier to see, I'm going to hide the adjustment layer. Next, select Layer 2, and with Keyframe 1 selected, let's set the horizontal tilt to around 20. Then click on Keyframe 2 and drag it to the middle of the slide. Now, my slide is 5 seconds long, 
So to make sure this keyframe is exactly in the middle, I'll right click on the marker, choose set time for this keyframe, and type in 2.5 seconds. Then I'll set the horizontal tilt to minus 20. Back in the keyframe timeline, let's right click to insert another keyframe, then click and drag it all the way to the right. Now with keyframe 3 selected, let's set the horizontal tilt to 20. Now as I scrub through the slide, you can see the image will swing back and forth like this. Now let's add some motion to the adjustment layer. Select layer 1, and be sure to turn it back on if you have it hidden. This time, let's change the pan values. I'll select keyframe 1, and set the horizontal pan to 75. Now I'll click on keyframe 2, and drag it to the middle of the slide. Then I'll set the horizontal pan to minus 75. Now once again, in the keyframe timeline, I'll right click to insert another keyframe, then click and drag it all the way to the right. And with keyframe 3 selected, I'll set the horizontal pan to 75. Now as I click on each keyframe, you can see that this adjustment layer will pan from almost all the way on the right, to almost all the way on the left, and then back to the right again. Now finally, let's preview the slide to see how the combination of motion and adjustment layers come together to create this glare effect. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to visit our blog or check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.